Hi, I'm Dr. Rene Reed. I'm a chiropractic orthopedist and a naturopathic medical doctor. I've been in practice for a number of years, 34 exactly, I've seen thousands of patients, and it is, has come to my attention that many patients are using these selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor medications, commonly the one most commonly known as Prozac. And I want to give you a little information on these medications that could be useful to you. Number one, some people say, hey, they don't work. Well, they do work, but they typically work for a while and then they cause havoc in the human body. So first of all, what is tryptophan? Tryptophan is an essential amino acid that you've got to get in your diet every single day. If you don't have it in your diet, you won't sleep well, you'll be agitated, nervous, and you just won't really feel well. So tryptophan is in the nerve endings in the synapse where one nerve jumps to another. There's an area in between called the synaptic space. And the body produces uh, serotonin from tryptophan and that serotonin is injected into that synapse or that space between the nerves. And uh, just think of uh, the, the synapse like a spark plug. There's a gap there. And these molecules fill up that space and as a result, you feel wonderful. You feel great, you feel relaxed, you can sleep, you're not worrying. What happens when you take a lot of stress in your life, you don't produce as much tryptophan, you don't produce as much serotonin. So you may become anxious, you may not sleep. You go to your doctor and the first thing he wants to do is put you on one of these drugs, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. So what happens? Well, the spaces fill up with these molecules by using this mechanism. Naturally, the tryptophan is converted to serotonin. It squirts into that space. These molecules are there, the space swells up. When you get an excess amount of serotonin there, it slips into a notch there called the reuptake valve and it shuts off the production. So you get enough in there, you feel good, it stops. The drugs, the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, what they do is they shut that mechanism off. So the body doesn't think there's ever enough molecules in that joint and it just keeps producing them and producing them. And that you feel not good, you feel really good. And you feel good naturally because the serotonin is natural. But the mechanism causing these excess molecules to flood into that space, it isn't natural. And eventually, you're going to use all the body reserves of the tryptophan. It may take six months, 18 months. When it does, you go from heaven to hell. You crash. And that is devastating for people. Now, another mechanism you must understand is that the body actually, through those receptor sites, recycles that tryptophan. Well, if that's blocked by this drug, it doesn't recycle it and you deplete the reserves of the tryptophan in the human body. It just takes a while to do it. There's a second mechanism in your genetic pool of your liver. The body immediately, when you take a drug inside your body, it says foreign invader and it starts to break it down in your liver through pathways called phase one and phase two of the liver. If you have a gene deficiency for the drug, say like a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, it can't break it down. You may be getting a dose that's 10 to 20 times or more greater than what someone else would get. So therefore, you produce massive amounts of, of serotonin from tryptophan. You feel euphoric. You feel so good, it's incredible. And those people, Unfortunately, when they crash, when they no longer have any more, they're the ones you're reading about in the news, the one that goes into the restaurant and uh, they're off their medication and uh, uh, basically, uh, or they're on their medication. They don't have any more tryptophan. They can't sleep. The drug's not working now. And they commit these atrocious crimes that are hideous. That, and it, Truly, what really boggles my mind is that the medical industry, the psychiatric industry, is saying, oh, they needed to take more medication. When in reality, it was the medication that caused the natural uh, excessive use of the tryptophan to be used up. They're creating the problem. 
I want to summarize by this, very simply, to paint a picture in your mind. <clears throat> picture yourself going to a gas station. You get out, you put the hose in the back of the car, you put that little clicker on, and you sit there and you wait for the tank to fill up. And you're looking at your gas gauge and it's going from empty to full. And when it's full, at the same time, that little mechanism in the tank goes click and the gas stops going into the tank. That's what happens naturally in your nerve synapses. What if someone came along and they disable that little click? Your gas tank says full, but the cat gas keeps going into the tank. Going into the tank, it's running over. And as far as you, the consumer, are concerned, the tank's always full. You're so happy. Oh, wow, I never run out of gas. But that gas is spilling on the ground. That gas is constantly going into your tank. It's draining that big tank in the ground. And it may take months. It may take many months. But eventually, that big tank runs low. And secondarily, that extra gas that's spilled all over the ground and all over your car now's a fire hazard. So eventually the whole thing blows up in your face. And especially if you're one of those people with a genetic deficiency that can't break this drug down to the average dose that Joe Blow may be getting, you may be getting 10 to 20 times the effect in the human body. So I urge every one of you, before you take these drugs, understand the chemistry here. They're going to tell you this is natural. The serotonin is natural, but the mechanism of causing the body to produce the extra serotonin is not natural. And eventually it blows up in your face. And in some people, it's devastating. Thank you for listening.